Okay, here's an update on our new project, one of several. This is the old 300 SD that I just drug home the other day. We did the first start attempts and the actual first start took two or three turns uh, to get it going. It does run good, transmission works good. Doesn't hardly have a lick of brakes, no windshield. Uh, sunroof went back and didn't come forward. So, slight water leakage. Um, got an extra engine in the trunk. Now, we also did a video on this Dodge Dakota smoking like a freight train. I mean, probably smokes as much as any engine I ever seen it would actually start and run and set and idle. I mean, it smokes like it's on fire. <clears throat> anyway, pretty decent interior. Headliner needs a little love, but I always like these trucks. We've had several Dakotas and always like them, especially this body. And uh, it's got a blown up 4.7 in it. I uh, got it off a teenage kid, so I'd say it probably never had an easy day in its life. Uh, let's see if we get the hood up here. Blown 4.7, automatic. Pretty nice little truck, it's got a little rust uh, for Ohio. Um, it's fair, you know. Well, the damn hood won't pop. But anyway, we're gonna put that five cylinder Mercedes turbo diesel and automatic transmission in that Dodge Dakota. Uh, may take a little while, got other projects going, but I'm getting ready to pull the engine and stuff out of this thing. Uh, starting on it right now. I've already took the air cleaner stuff off and uh, gonna survey how many parts off of this 300 SD. We'll interchange with my 350 SD and I uh, might set some parts aside for it in case I ever hit a deer or a uh, pedestrian or stray walnut tree, whatever. But uh, by the end of the summer, maybe sooner, um, been on, you know, work and dump truck work and everything else going on this engine here will be in this truck so that's what we're doing right now uh, i'll keep you posted if i make any progress right now it's going to be boring just pull that engine and pull that engine and get this one cleaned up check to see if there's any that that thing always leaks right there every one i ever had we're seeing valve cover gasket leaks on them so i'll pull that off and clean it up and uh, anyway, take a good look at it. Um, check the grease plugs, anything else that is uh, easy to service when it's out, we'll take a look at. And then we'll set it in that little Dakota and see what we can do with it. Um, it will be a slow, sluggish Dakota compared to what it was. A 4.7, if they're running right, are a pretty snappy little engine. That little light Dakota, they're, they're fairly quick. But uh, it will not be that way with this engine in it, I promise. Uh, that right there is the fastest diesel Mercedes I've ever driven. Uh, which I haven't driven a whole, you know, dozens of them or anything like that. But that one right there really ran strong. Um, but again, I got it off some teenage boys and it had been horsed on and horsed on and horsed on. It had 340 some thousand miles on it. And it uh, finally blew itself apart coming home one day. So that's a parts car. This is a good engine transmission, 188,000. Going to go in that old Dakota. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned and one day we'll take you riding this old silver Dakota with this Mercedes engine in it. Thanks a lot.